All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. How y'all doing on this fine Friday? Our work, my work never ends. There is always something to do, something to talk about. Today, I want to talk about a victory. Now, the war is still ongoing. Or should I say the battle? Right? Let me correct that. The battle is still going on. But it's, it's looking good right now. At least for the city of Maryville. Now, I know this is a small town. But I will celebrate success wherever it happens because I want to encourage these types of things specifically pit bull bands I want to applaud everybody involved for implementing these bands and encourage more districts to do the same now I invited I personally invited the uh, new chief Tommy Robertson to the live stream I hope you are able to join us please join me in making this gentleman feel welcome in this community you are doing a public service and we very much appreciate that you put public safety slash child safety first of course this is what any decent community would do now this is the new chief of Maryville Louisiana Tommy Robertson now when he became chief he decided to enforce a pit bull ban that had been in place for a long time let's take a look at the news coverage or at least one of them and by the way shout out to everybody able to join me for this live stream it's always a pleasure to spend time with you all you all, you all have been leaving excellent comments and I'm very grateful now this is one of many as you all know, the pit bull lovers over there and in different parts of the world, they are losing their minds. Oh no, how dare you ban pit bulls? Okay, cry us a river. The town of Maryville issuing an ultimatum tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Cynthia R. Snow. Maryville is forcing pit bull owners to move their dogs out of city limits within 48 hours. It caught many residents. Oh, this is in the United States of America. This is not Ghazabad. This is not India. Bravo. United States of America. I want to see more cities do this. That's off guard. KPLC's Devin DeStefano is live in studio to explain why now. Maryville's police chief says he's enforcing a pit bull ban that has been on the books for more than a decade. Chief Tommy Roberson only got elected in July, and after a resident questioned him on the ban, the council brought it up for discussion. They tabled it last month, but are set to, to discuss it in December. So after talking with the mayor, the chief's... Okay, so it's going down right now. We are in December. ...says they agreed they need to enforce the ban put into place by the previous council. Now you had numerous people agree that they need to enforce this ban. People, this town doesn't even have a thousand people. There's like a little under a thousand people that lives in Maryville. So one reason why this might be easier for them to, to do is because it's so small, but I don't care. I want New York City, Chicago, and all other large cities across the country to follow suit. These people 
are true Americans. These are true patriots. Priority over everything else is the safety of their next generation. You protect the subsequent generation like an armored knight. That's what any decent community does. Until the law was changed. They reviewed all complaints sent into the police department on pit bulls and delivered a flyer to 17 homes, letting them know their dogs needed to be rehomed. Sent the flyer to 17 homes. You got to get that pit bull out of here. This is the actual letter. How beautiful is this? Let's go full screen. Should we go full screen? Yeah. To whom it may concern. We are writing you to let you know that the town of Maryville will be enforcing the pit bull ordinance. You have been identified as having a pit bull slash pit bulls in your possession and will need to have these animals rehomed and removed from the city limits of Maryville. There is a 48 hour time frame to have these animals moved. We have provided a copy of Pitbull Ordinance 21.22 for you to review. If you have any questions or concerns, please call City Hall at 337-825-8740. Bravo. Bravo to the city of Maryville. This is beautiful. The chief says some residents have already come in showing proof their dog was a different breed. If residents do not move their pit bull within the 48 hours, they could face a $250 fine and have their animal impounded. And they will have it impounded. No, you're not just going to get a fine and you think that's the end of it. Oh, no. No, you're going to get a fine and we're going to get rid of your pit bull. This is a town that I would feel proud to be a part of. Okay, real small town in Louisiana. Now, Chief Tommy Robertson was elected as the new chief of police Saturday. Now, this article surfaced April 30th, 2022. Okay, so he was elected earlier this year. So look at one of the very first things this man did look at one of the very first things that this law enforcement officer did let us enforce this pit bull ban after all these are fighting breeds they were not bred to be pets they were bred to fight and kill larger animals extremely dangerous I don't care how many harmless pit bulls you've come across in your life no matter what we don't know which ones are going to attack and we do know that a great percentage of them will attack safety first now check this out Brace yourself. There are some pit bull owners, if I'm not mistaken, in this report. Police chief unleashed a firestorm of controversy when he decided they would start enforcing a pit bull ban. Good evening. I'm Cynthia Arsenault. And I'm Jillian Corder. Town officials say the ordinance had been on the books at least 15 years, but Teresa Schmidt reports. It's been on the, the books for 15 inform- years. 15 years. Can you imagine how many other cities and districts are going through the same thing where there are people who have pit bulls in the city, even though they might actually be banned? Laws mean nothing if they're not enforced. Right. What a lesson to be learned here. Enforcement has triggered outrage for, from some both in and outside the community. 
Pit bull owners in Maryville are up in arms after being notified they have to get rid of their pit bulls within 48 hours. Bobby Whidden says his pet, Kilo, would never attack anyone. However, Whidden says police, cars, and officers showed up early Tuesday to... Sorry, I had to stop it there. Police Gordon says his pet, Kilo, would never attack anyone. Now let's just stick with the facts. Let's deal with facts. He said that this pit bull would never attack anyone. Is that a fact? No, it's not. You know it is a fact? It is a fact that this man has no idea whether or not this pit bull will attack someone. He's simply taking the chance, gambling. Let's get that clear. No owner of a pit bull knows when or who their pit bull will attack. They don't know, and that's a fact. So to a great extent, it is your uncertainties. That's a big reason why pit bull bans are enforced. These people know better. The lawmakers know better. However, Whitten says police, cars, and officers showed up early Tuesday to alert him that an ordinance on the books at least 15 years would soon be enforced, and other pit owners were visited as well. I think it's crazy. Like. They take one incident from one dog and they put it upon all. And I don't like that. It's stupid in my, my opinion. Okay, stupid in your opinion. It's crazy and stupid to ban pit bulls, you say. Well, it's a good thing they're not depending on you. Your opinion doesn't matter. Sorry, but the intelligent people have already made the laws and the decision. So please stand aside and fork over the pit bull. Of course, a pit bull lover wouldn't understand. Like, they take one incident from one dog and they put it upon all. And They're all dogs. They're all pit bulls. Come on, man. Don't play dumb. You know why these things are being banned. They're being banned because you don't know if that thing will ever attack you. And you don't know if it will ever attack anyone else. That's an irrefutable fact that you just don't know. And the people don't want to allow you to gamble with people's safety. Simple as that. Yeah, it's not complicated at all. And I don't like that. It's stupid, in my opinion. The mayor of Maryville is concerned if someone is attacked by a pit bull, they could wind up suing the city. Plus, says Sheila Smith, she's- And why a pit bull? Why? Most of these people acquire pit bulls because they're fully aware that these things are fighting breeds. Don't play dumb now. That's a big reason why many of these people are obsessed with pit bulls. The danger turns them on. Concerned about safety. The chief of police has received many calls about the pits. We've had, he's gotten a lot of complaints about dogs and he's been handling the dogs running at large. The mayor says she's hopeful there can be a compromise. We wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Um, these ordinances, you know, were put in years ago. And look, look, look. We, we don't have to explain. We don't have to tell these pit bull owners that we're not trying to hurt them or didn't want to hurt them or we don't want them to know. We don't have to do that. You just say, hey, safety first. Yeah, your pit bull might not attack you, but you cannot guarantee that it won't attack others. 
Public safety is priority. It's that simple. They know, these pit bull owners, they know that having possession of these things endangers the general public. And, you know, the council wrote this in, we felt like for a reason, um, the chief is just trying to do his job and enforce the ordinance. Witten's dog Kilo is friendly and playful even around those he meets for the first time. Right now, it's not anyone... friendly and playful. It's begging for food. That's why it's sniffing her crotch. Violates the ordinance could face a fine of. Look at how these things violate you, man. To do his job and inf you just jump on people, pounce on people that you never even met. This woman is saying this. This was the first time. She's seen this dog. How uncivilized. You jump on someone you don't even know. There's nothing pleasant about that. Especially when it's a pit bull. Force the ordinance. Witten's dog Keel. It is much jumped up on the lady. Really? Look at its behavior. This is not friendly behavior. It's just addicted to food. Kilo is friendly and playful even around those he meets for the first time. Right now anyone who violates the ordinance could face a fine of up to $500 and or up to 60 days in jail. In Maryville, Teresa you see, Schmidt, seven. This, this dog is not enjoying being rubbed and petted. It's not. Right now anyone who violates the ordinance could face a fine of up to 500 it, this thing has no idea what they're doing. Dogs don't give other dogs physical massages. What makes people think dogs even understand what a pet, a rub is? This whole culture of projecting or assuming that dogs have the same type of brain we have, come on, this is embarrassing at this point. They have the exact opposite type of brain the human beings have. Hundred dollars and or up to sixty days in jail. In Maryville, Teresa Schmidt, seven. What in the world? Let's hope everything goes smoothly. Let's hope they get rid of all of these killers, these child predators. That's what they are. Let's stop playing games here. Okay. Shout out to ColoradoInjuryLaw.com. I want to use a little bit of their information. You can find this information any and everywhere. As we all know, there are between four and a half to five million reported dog bites every year. The true number is a lot bigger, but let's look at the pit bulls. This is why they're being banned. Pit bulls are responsible for the vast majority of fatalities. From 2010 to 2021, there were 430 fatal dog attacks, with 185 of those coming from pit bulls and another 41 that were pit bull mixes 60 percent had pit bull in their bloodlines seven percent had rottweiler so add that seven to that 67 rottweilers are bully breeds i don't care that they are not technically pit bulls the only thing that matters is the nature of the attack all of these dogs that bite down, hold, and shake vigorously. They inflict far more damage, and that is what makes them far more dangerous. Now look at this. Top three breeds responsible for fatal dog attacks. Pit bull, 185 deaths. Pit bull mix, 41. So Rottweiler, 26. Add those all together, people. Yes, these things have gone far beyond proving that they need to be banned. Far beyond that. 
Or we could be here all day going over pit bull statistics. As I shared information before, as soon as these things step outside the front door, they are looking for something to fixate on, to attack. They were bred to fight and attack. They have the instinct of a killer. And when they attack, they feel very good inside. It's almost like a rush for a pit bull when it attacks. That's why when they attack, they never stop. How many of y'all heard of this story that surfaced not long ago of this guy? I believe, yeah, Des Moines, Iowa. Let's check this out. This surfaced what? 22 hours ago. We have even more breaking news tonight. A man was attacked in West Des Moines at an apartment complex just off 50th Street on Hawthorne Drive. KCCI's Kayla James is there live. And Kayla, what are police telling you? Well, we know that man, he is 27 years old. We are told that he's in the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police still looking for one of two dogs that they say attacked the man here across the street at the Fountain's apartment. Here's what we know about that case. So it happened around 4.05. That's when police say they got the call about a person who was being mauled over here by the apartments. Uh, by the time they got here, they said the man was unconscious. Those two dogs were still attacking him. Y'all hear that? So these pit bulls attacked their owner inside the home. The attack went on long enough for others to notice that there was an attack going down. They call the police. And by the time the police arrived, the pit bulls were still attacking the man and he had lost consciousness. The nature of that attack is breed related because when pit bulls attack, they feel so good they can't stop. Have you ever tried to pull a pit bull away from something that it was attacking or wanted to attack? They are in a complete frenzy. They are dying to get back to attacking whatever victim it was attacking. That's breed specific behavior. Think about how long that was. Police show up, they're still attacking them. They were attacking their owner. Why would they do that? This is brainless even for animals. I don't care that people say, oh, it's an animal. No, even animals. I expect even animals to be smart enough to know that you do not attack or kill your only provider of food. That's the most basic thing that any living organism should understand. Every single day of your life, this human being is feeding you, pulling food out of thin air. These brainless mutts don't know where this dog food's coming from. So they assume that their owner magically acquires this food and just gives it to them. Keep in mind, dogs, they don't do that. Dogs fight over who eats first. They become aggressive during feeding time. But this magical human doesn't want to fight. It just forks over the food and these dogs not only attack this man their only source of food but they continue to attack it was a sustained attack at no moment did they think to themselves wait a minute what are we doing this is our master our only provider of food let's stop this why didn't one of the dogs try to fight the other dog off 
if you want to claim that, hey, sometimes a dog will snap. So why the other one snap? Why wasn't the other dog in its right state of mind? There's never any conflict between the dogs when one of the dogs attack a human being. So this guy, this was a man, reminds me of that pit bull owner in Maryville that we just listened to. My pit bull wouldn't attack anyone. We all know that that's a lie. We all know that the truth is that he has no idea. And that's why they need to be gotten rid of. You don't have the slightest clue when that dog will attack or who it'll attack. So stop it. Because they were still attacking and not um, backing off when police got here, police tell us they- Not backing off. The police were yelling at him trying to distract them but when dogs attack excuse me i'm sorry my apologies when pit bulls attack when bully breeds attack their brain releases opioids and it makes them feel very good they're immune to pain and they feel great that's why they don't stop attacking that's breed specific aggression. That is increased aggression. That is an expression of aggression. For all of you pit bull lovers who claim that pit bulls are not any more aggressive than any other breeds, that's a lie. Here you have yet another example. Did unfortunately have to put one dog down because again they weren't still a unfortunately had to put it down. No, fortunately, from what I understand, this man is still alive. Thank goodness it was put down. Let's stop. We have to stop this language first. If we're gonna deal with these creatures, if we're gonna make safety public safety slash child safety slash the safety of the elderly we have to set emotions aside this idea that oh it was unfortunate that's emotional this is business okay let's cut that out attacking that unconscious man um seeming very aggressive so right now police are out here looking for the other dog what yeah. how dumb do you have to be really this man has been feeding you every day of your worthless life and you launch a sustained deadly attack on him. These things deserve to be banned. You know what this tells me? That pit bull owners who have not been attacked by their dog, they're just lucky. And the dog has not attacked them simply because it hasn't attacked them. Not because it loves you. It's simply content with getting all this free food from you. That's all. They're asking everyone in the area to please stay out, stay inside, and stay away as they continue looking for it. Live in West Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. This is so beautiful. The United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, Now, Des Moines, what are you going to do? What are you going to do for your residents? You had a grown man under attack, almost killed. You got young kids all over the city. What are you going to do? The trend now is to take action, to take steps towards being a humane community with morals that requires the banning of these killing machines that's all they are that's why they are banned in so many different parts of the world they're banned for a reason it's an insult 
to the lawmakers who created these bans to suggest that somehow there's no reason to ban them. It most certainly is. How crazy is that? I want to know more about this guy who was attacked by his own pit bulls. And knew it knew it well. Oh, sorry about that. That's probably kind of loud. Yeah. Want to check this one out. I didn't listen to this. Des Moines police tell KCCI the victim of a vicious dog attack yesterday was the owner of both of those dogs. We first told you about this breaking news last night at 5 and 6. The dogs were one-year-old pit bulls. Victim was attacked by his dogs yesterday afternoon near the Fountains apartment complex on Hawthorne Drive. Officers were forced to put down one of the dogs at the scene. You know what's funny? Boy, they are so exposed right now. This man was attacked by his own pit bulls. Now, if you feel like your pit bull will never attack you, fine. I can understand you feeling that way, even though you have no idea whether or not it will attack you. But you've been feeding a dog every day. It's not aggressive with you. Okay, you believe it will never attack you. However, you have no right, no justification whatsoever to suggest that that thing will not attack anyone because you've not had the dog around everybody. How many of y'all heard about this story surfaced here recently? Well, it's actually an update. I reported on this story when it first broke. Um, this article surfaced today. The woman jailed after dog attacks three-year-old girl in the street. I remember I talked about this 45-year-old woman. Um, the child and her grandmother were walking home from the shop and they started a conversation with a dog owner. Okay, so grandma, granddaughter, they're having a, a conversation with a neighbor and that person, that woman, had her dog with her. He said, look at this. He said that the grandmother spoke to Garner about postings on Facebook about the defendant's dogs attacking other dogs and other people. So there had been some posts on Facebook about this woman's dogs attacking other people and other people's dog. Dog owners, I expect you all to fully support these pit bull bands. Pit bulls attack, mutilate, and kill far more animals than any other animal on earth. The sight of another animal is a trigger for a pit bull. Very dangerous creatures. Now, check this out. Where were we? Check this out. He said... The little girl moves from behind in front of them. She makes no particular sudden movement. Listen to this, people. They're talking about the child. This little girl made no particular sudden movement. She does nothing that in any way can be suggested as provocative or annoying towards the dog. But the dog attacked her anyways, just like I keep telling you all they do. Dogs love, especially pit bulls, really all dogs. They love to attack children. The smaller, the better. For the new people on the channel, I've shown several videos of dog attacks on children where these dogs maneuvered around the adults to get to the child shared stories where as soon as a dog owner opens the door and these are all pit bulls they would dart outside of the vehicle 
run straight towards a child and attack them. Many of you saw that video that surfaced here recently where that dog tried to attack a little child, saw the child from afar and ran at top speed. Dogs view children the same way natural predators view prey even worse because they don't attack kids for food especially pit bulls keep that in mind pit bulls were bred to attack just for the sake of attacking just because it feels good when they attack this is far worse than any predator on earth of course you ban these things need to be banned in all states the dog grabbed the little girl around her torso and threw her to the floor it was extremely powerful compared to the defendant defendant this owner in other words she couldn't control it so there goes your adult supervision security out the window so let's not talk about oh pit bulls are safe it's okay if the owner is right there these people themselves cannot control these powerful killing machines he said it took the effort of several people including the grandmother her partner, and two other people to punch and kick to make this dog stop. So multiple adults couldn't even get this dog off this child. Do you understand what that means? It means that there's no possible way to guarantee the safety of anyone when you're in possession of these things. It's so reckless. At the very least, in every state, it should be required that when in public, you have a muzzle on all bully breeds. If you're caught outside of your home with a bully breed with no muzzle, you should be arrested. The only time that muzzle comes off is when you are inside of your home. That way, if it mauls somebody, most likely it will be you. But it's not guaranteed that it'll be you. That's why they have no place in society at all. Because all it takes is for you to crack a door, leave a door unlocked on accident, Maybe you thought you closed it, but it wasn't completely closed. The dog darts out and attacks someone. That's why they should be banned. Let's not waste time with muzzles. But I point out the lack of muzzles to point out how careless our laws are currently. That's very disrespectful towards us, our communities, our families, loved ones, children, very disrespectful for us to have such worthless laws and nobody speaking out about it. Okay, the reality of the situation is had they not become involved without thought for themselves, in the way that they did it doesn't bear thinking what the consequences might have been ultimately of course yeah it would have killed her all for nothing these things attack for nothing behaviorists where you at see I bet they hate the fact that they can't claim that this child did something to this dog that's their go-to they love to say well the child must have done something again you research 
information on how to reduce dog attacks against children. They're going to lecture you on how kids misbehave and provoke the attack. I've been arguing that these kids do the exact same thing that this little girl did, which is nothing. They simply have to exist. The video I shared where that behaviorist is trying to train people's dog to not attack a child, that proves that dogs naturally want to attack little kids. It's just built into them. And we're talking about bully breeds, they are especially more aggressive. All these vicious breeds, more aggressive when there is a small target. The smaller, the more likely it is, it will attack. You don't play games with something like that, with creatures like that, that you can't even control. You can't neutralize when it decides to attack. Of course you ban those. It's not up for discussion. There's no type of intellectual debate that could be had. These things need to be banned. Stop it. He added, it was clearly an extremely traumatic, no doubt terrifying, painful experience. Prosecutor said the girl underwent surgery for three wounds to her back. Unbelievable. N listen, this is the girl who's now traumatized. I remember I talked about this. The uh, parent said that she, well, just look, she now screams in her sleep and wakes herself up screaming as she has flashbacks and nightmares of the incident. Really? You don't subject children to experiences like this. This is demonic behavior. It's so savage. Under no circumstances, you all, you dog nutters, you pit nutters, you all should be willing to never see a pit bull in your life in order to prevent this from happening to another child. The fact that you all are not is very disturbing. This little girl who was attacked cannot walk down the street now because she screams if she sees a dog. She cannot walk past a dog anymore. And that's how it should have been before she was attacked. This is how kids should be taught to respond to dogs and especially bully breeds whenever they see them by our public schools. Yes, the public educational system should be teaching kids stay away from dogs especially bully breeds, no matter what the breed is. If it's a large dog, you better stay away from it. Stay away from it. There's no excuse. There's no reason why we should not teach this to our youth. This is common sense. So now this girl's traumatized. All because somebody wanted to look hip and brave and edgy by being in possession of a killer breed. It's heartbreaking for her and the rest of the family to see this girl like this, this article says. I don't know if my little girl will ever get over this fear and the trauma. This is a healthy fear. It's a healthy fear. And everyone should have a healthy fear of something that actually is deadly and actually acts out its deadly behavior every day. Court was shown harrowing footage of the attack. Oh, wow. They got footage of the attack? Oh, wow. During which screaming could be heard and which shows people attempting to fight off the dog. And this is what always infuriates me. A dog starts mauling a four-year-old or whatever. 
and you have a bunch of large adults looking absolutely worthless. No, no, let go. Worthless little punches. They'll grab some flimsy object, a dust mop or something, and swat the dog with it. That is pathetic. You know, that really makes you look like a dumb group of people. Why would you want to be caught in a situation? Don't you want to be one of those people who was smart enough to see it before it happened and then created conditions to make sure it doesn't happen? Yeah, that's the direction we're headed in. So the dog was destroyed by police despite Garner refusing to hand over her rights to the mutt. She had previous convictions for public disorder, driving with excess drugs, and driving without due care and failing to report an incident. Wow, this woman's all over the place. She runs into people, then drives off. It's a criminal. Wow. And this was a rescue mutt. This came from a shelter. Shelters claim that the pit bulls that they adopt out are rehabilitated, that they passed a temperament test, and that they're safe to adopt. And I've been saying, ever since I've been online, those temperament tests are worthless. They're biased and worthless. Unbelievable. What in the world? She said, she told police in an interview that although the dog looks evil, it's a big donut. The same dog that attacked the little girl there you go. Sound like the same guy in this other article over here talking about his dog wouldn't attack anyone. All pit bull owners say that. They, but each pit bull owner, they think they're special. Even though all other pit bull owners say the same thing, they think they're special. My pit bull is special. Lord, Ms. Garner feels nothing but shame and regret for what happened. Yeah, I'm sure. I, I find that hard to believe that she feels shame and regret because she wasn't feeling that shame and regret before the attack. She was prancing around with a smirk. Hey, look at me. Look at how dangerous I am. You are, you are not concerned about the safety of children in the community then. Why should I believe that you are now? I'm not a dog owner. And I'm concerned about public safety right now. I don't need to be responsible for a dog attack on a child before I smarten up. It's ridiculous. So this is why Maryville has banned these things. And again, let's hope other jurisdictions do the same thing. They've already banned them in Gazabad, South Africa. It is a war over there in South Africa. They are telling everyone, get rid of your pit bulls. And if we catch you with a pit bull, I'm telling you, the everyday person over there is confiscating those bully breeds. Humans don't behave like this for no reason. Stop trying to imply that this is unreasonable behavior, that people's discontent for pit bulls is pointless. You better crack a book and get educated on how dangerous these things are. It's 
This is another recent story. This surfaced just a few hours ago. Dogs seized after woman and child injured. What is this, Anglesey? Where is that at? There are a lot of attack stories. I just, where is it? Okay, Wales. There are a lot of attack stories. There's just too many for me to go over. Now, what was going on here? Uh, located, blah, blah, blah. okay. So it doesn't give any uh, information on the details. I'm always looking for whether or not it was provoked. What happened before the attack? And that's so, it's so embarrassing that people like this managed to get pit bull bands removed from so many areas across the country. Based on what? Not a lick of statistics, not a lick of information, just all on emotion. That is pathetic. Now, National Pitbull Victim Awareness dot org is always a handy resource for those who are not familiar with this website. I'm going to uh, share a link. This is about uh, pit bulls and a pit bull ban. It sounds like a lot of people are not educated on pit bulls, man. That's disappointing. That's scary. So many people to not be aware of exactly how dangerous these things are, how deadly they are, how much of a safety hazard they are. Shout out to mountain lions all across the country. This story surfaced today as well. Mountain lions kill nine dogs near one Colorado town. One mountain lion? That's legendary stuff. Boy, that is gangster. And this mountain lion looks gangster. Look at him. Like, yeah, I did it. And you go, mountain lion. Let me share this. Some of you might want to enjoy that story. How y'all doing in here? Boy, oh boy, I'm sorry. I I'm just enjoying this. A little too much now if you go to the home page of my channel <clears throat> excuse me we are talking about pit bulls go to the home page of my channel scroll right here see my cursor don't click on this one yo no I'm sorry do see that blog Click on that. We're talking about pit bulls. And here you have dozens of doctors who have said pit bulls inflict far more damage and they should be banned. Literally dozens of doctors are giving their stories of what happened. As I always point out, one doctor said that all of the patients in that hospital hospitalized for seven days or more. All of them were attacked by pit bulls. These doctors are sharing gruesome, disturbing, traumatizing stories where they see kids being brought in, torn to shreds. One doctor said it looked like a shark attack victim. Okay, when a pit bull is involved, the bites are worse. When they bite, they bite and lock and don't let go. Okay? One of the many statements made by doctors. Now, lawmakers, law enforcement officers, who do you think is more qualified to inform us about exactly how dangerous pit bulls are? Who better qualified than the doctors who work and operate on these victims themselves. This is the first and only resource we need to go to when dealing with 
pit bull bands. I don't want to hear some story from a pit bull lover. I don't want to see some goofy video they made with goofy music in the background. I want to hear facts, statistics, and expert opinions. That's what you have here. Did I share this? Let me share a link to that as well. I always share that link. Very important. So thank you. Thank you to the city of Maryville. I don't care what the new chief thinks about me. I Hey, maybe he could hate my guts for all I know. I'm still thankful that they are against pit bulls and taking action against them. Very thankful. And I hope my city does the same. Yo, know, every city in the country should do the same. This is justice. This is intelligent. This is what people with high morals this is what they do. Normal human beings do things like this. Normal living organisms. They refuse to allow deadly predators around their young. It's time for people to stop behaving in a more animalistic way than animals. Again, animals don't allow predators around their young. Under no circumstances. They're not going to go out, acquire predators, and bring them back to their young. And it's time for us to stop doing that. There's nothing righteous or beautiful or loving about that. It's just flat out savage and dumb. Evil, savage, and dumb. So shout out to everybody who co-signed with this. You know, they made a, a petition also. They made a counter petition, right? Let me see. Oh, stop the pit bull ban. Here it is right here. Wait a minute. They want to stop the pit bull ban. Now, I assume this was uh, created by someone in Maryville. I don't know how these petitions work, but I believe that people who don't even live in Maryville can sign the petition. Okay, and this petition only has 927 signatures, which is quite a bit. So most definitely these signatures, people are signing this petition who don't even live in Maryville. There's only about 927 people who live in Maryville. And you know all of the residents are not signing this thing. I don't think it's gonna help. Now let me show y'all this goofy petition that they made. Cause I'm sort of reading it for the first time myself right now. And they're saying it, look at it. Just like I said, I'm not a resident in Maryville, but I had tons of friends and family in that area and I was raised. Okay. I'm an advocate for pit bulls. Look how she worded it. I'm an advocate for the ones who don't have a voice. No, 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 no. We don't need to hear no voice of no pit bull. Okay. What do you have to say? I think what they're doing is ridiculous. I'm sure they have their reasons, but if we're going to ban pit bulls for being pit bulls, we should ban chihuahuas. Oh Lord. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I share information and I share and refer information. I give references, 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 because this is unacceptable. This is your grandstanding. You have the opportunity to explain why pit bulls are safe and this is what you say. 
They're not banning pit bulls for being pit bulls. They're banning pit bulls for being bred to kill. These are killing machines. Their statistics tell us all we need to know. Do you understand that? These, they act like they don't understand this. If we're going to ban pit bulls for being pit bulls, we should ban chihuahuas, pomeranians, yorkies, dachshunds as well because they're also known to be aggressive. There you go. There you go. See, this type of ignorance is over. It is over. This is the end of the road for you. We're finally dissecting this stupidity. You really want to compare a pit bull attack to a chihuahua attack? Are you really trying to compare a pit bull attack to a Pomeranian attack? She continues. I think this is a woman. I have a pit bull mix that I saved from a shelter. Oh, Lord. Just stop talking. Stop. Really? And over 900 people signed this? That is embarrassing. So what? Your dog hasn't attacked you yet. That don't prove nothing. Guess what? We still got a whole slew of reports and video footage of pit bulls attacking people. So your personal pit bull don't mean nothing save from a shelter all these dogs who have homes should be able to stay there it's disgusting of this town how somebody who don't even live in maryville gonna create a petition and start babbling in the world what's she say all these dogs are going to be in a shelter, and since they have such a bad rap, they're going to be euthanized. That's exactly the point, ma'am. That's the goal. You don't want people in possession of one of these things. What is it about that that's so difficult for y'all to understand? You're in love with this breed because it's a killer breed, a fighting breed, and they're being banned for that exact reason. This fighting breed produces statistics that bear witness that it's a fighting breed. Pit bulls are out here proving that they need to be banned. This is not some personal idea that people are coming up with. Do you pit bull lovers have enough brains to understand what I just said? I know some of you do. May not be many, but some of you fully understand and you know it's the truth. Again, b before people say, say that there are no pit bull owners, humans are very complex creatures. Anybody can be brainwashed and deceived. Like I mentioned, before, uh, dump dogs used to be a pit bull lover. Dump dogs used to be a pit bull lover. And right now, dump dogs is not putting on a show. He genuinely is against these things right now. There may be a few of them, but they're out there. And that's the end of her petition. Really? That's all you had to say? She said people are afraid of them. When in reality, they are one of the most loyal, loving, and protective dog breed there is. Hey, tell that to the guy who was just killed by his dogs. Was he killed or was he just mutilated? Yeah, he was mutilated. And he's on life support. Tell that to him. About how loyal and loving and protective they are. Tell that to all of these victims. 
How can you even say stuff like that when you have all of these victims out here? All of these faces of people, kids who have died. That's so disrespectful. Can y'all see this? What do y'all? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all can't even see this. Let me share this. My apologies, people. I'm looking at the petition right now. So you could hear me reading it, but you couldn't see it yourself. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, this is the petition. And that's all she had to say. That little bit of goofiness right there. I'm going to share this. Let you all check it out. Maybe uh, you need a laugh like I did. Huh? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm enjoying this a little too much. Anytime we have a victory, I'm happy. I got the pom-poms out. I got, I got the cake going. I'm throwing a party for real. Okay, the link to this is too long. It's too long. So I can't share it. But bravo to the city of Maryville. You did the right thing. Now, sadly, this ban in Maryville has been put on hold. See, Maryville order to rehome pit bulls within 48 hours put on hold for now. Let's hope that they go through with this. We don't care about backlash. We don't care about people who want to endanger everyone else. The whole purpose of law enforcement is to protect the public. We don't want to hear from people who want to endanger the public. Been on the law books for decades. Okay, why is it on hold? After receiving backlash, they put it on hold in response to the backlash no 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 just understand maryville you have a whole army of people supporting you this is a, a this has to be emphasized because a lot of different jurisdictions or whatever they feel like oh we're all alone if we ban bully breeds we're all alone these people, these uh, law enforcement officers, these lawmakers need to know that we're out here. That there is a whole slew of people who support the ban. And those who don't, tough. They'll get over it. They'll have kids and their kids will be more welcoming of it. I'm sorry, but I just don't respect people who want to endanger other people. So I wanted to focus on that. Yes, I was having too much fun reflecting on that. So jurisdiction after jurisdiction, country after country, city after city. The trend right now is to ban bully breeds, ban them. Y'all remember there was a period where all across the country, it was like every week, some new uh, jurisdiction removed a pit bull ban. This was not even a year ago this was going on. And it was crazy. Every time we looked around, there was a different part of the country removing pit bull bans. We see a different trend right now. I don't know. If we're having influence in that trend or not, I really don't care. I'm just here to do my part. That is to share the information that obviously too many people are unaware of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shout out to the mountain lion. 
Shout out to everybody in the room, moderators, like the moderators, been doing some good work here. Right? There you go. Shout out to Grizzly Bear in the chat room. Moochie, big shout out to you. Thank you. Sibby Red, big shout out to you. City of Maryville. Uh, Tommy Robertson, protect that man. All of you residents over there, protect that man. Uh, Gerard the King, good to see you in the building, my good man. Brian, Wendy Yogurt, it's the weekend. What y'all got planned for the weekend? Man, I feel exhausted. From the work week. I might go out of town. But I need a vacation. But it is getting cold man. It's been cold all day. And I'm in Ohio. Freezing cold. I don't like this. I, ca I cannot wait to move. I'm going south man. Live out the rest of my days down south. Let's hope. I, oh, yeah. I'm going to find a, a dog free city. Oh, do you know? That would be heaven. Even if it's just a uh, bully breed free city. I'll find it and I will move there. There should be dog free cities all across the country. All across the country. You see how. Society in general does not cater to us, does not cater to anti-dog peoples because we haven't made our presence known or felt. Once we do, they will start to cater to us. They will start to create different things for us, like uh, dog-free apartment complexes, dog-free this, dog-free that. That's the future. That's the future, and I cannot wait. Right? Grizzly Bear, I see Moochie had to delete some of your comments. Yeah, you, you better be careful. You come in here, there's no misbehaving. No misbehaving. Equator, shout out to you. Louise, as always, good to see everybody. Louise always dropping some good knowledge on us. Kittens, I see you. Right. And anybody else that I may have missed or forgotten. Hope you all have a safe, clean, fresh smelling weekend. And I hope to see you back on the next live stream as we continue with this crusade.